Hello you all, what is going on? Thank you so much for tuning into your informational video for your soul urge or heart desire number. My name is Jocelyn and again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly, greatly appreciated on a whole nother level, y'all just don't understand. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Before I can get into your what your soul urge or heart desire, heart desire number personally means for you, let me just get you a little backstory of what it actually represents in your numerology chart. So me, I personally feel that your heart desire number will be what your Venus sign would be, which will be in your astrology chart. And your heart desire number is why you do certain things and what is the innermost yearning you have for your life. So for example, okay, why are you so hard working? And it, the answer will be because of your heart desire number. It may have some different characteristic traits in there as well, as far as what your innermost being desires or what your innermost being is and what it urges to break out in this particular lifetime. Now to add up your heart desire or your soul urge number, you will include your full birth name, but it will only be added up by the vowels in your name. So um, in most cases, Y is considered a vowel. So if you have Y in any of your names, your first, middle, or last name, then you will include Y as the number, I believe is seven. So for example, in my name, Jocelyn, I have a Y in my name. So that number seven will be included into my name. I do have a chart here that will better, you know, explain it. But if you guys do not know what your heart desire number is, you can just do like a soul urge heart desire number calculator, um, research that, and then come back to the video when you f figure out what your number is. So if you've added up the vowels in your name and your heart desire num e number equaled up to a one, this is the video for you. So as in astrology, we all know that each sign is represented by a planet. In numerology, it's just the same. So in numerology, number one, the vibration of one is ruled by the sun, which is that Leo energy, which is that confident, courageous energy. Now, as a heart desire or a soul urge, number one, your heart yearns to be the leader in whatever it is that you do. Whatever endeavor you choose for your life, you want to be number one. You want to be the best. You strive to be the best. And also a vibration of a one is a confident, confident leader. It is also very independent and it's also um, very innovative. You are very creative. You stand out. You may also notice that a lot of people, um, cop well, I'll say copy your style, but it's not really like that. It's just that you are so original and you are so eccentric. And nine out of ten times, you are the one to start to set up trends first. You're a trendsetter. So a lot of people you notice around you, like kind of, you know, like to copy your style a little bit. And that's a, actually a really, really good thing. So as a heart desire, number one, what you have to understand and what you have to um, learn is that you're not going to be number one in everything. So if you feel like you're in competition with someone or um, a sports competition, any kind of type of competition at all, you may also feel that you have to be number one. And then when you're not number one, your ego can kind of come in a little bit. So just be mindful of that. Now, as a heart desire, number one, you do tend to gravitate towards roles of leadership, like management positions, CEO positions, or just even overall, you are your own business owner. Um, that's what your heart desires to be. So in whatever endeavor you choose in your personal life, being a business owner, um, being, you know, a leader, just being in charge is what's going to set your soul on fire is what's going to make you feel the most satisfied. You do the things that you do because you want to be the best. You want to be the leader. You don't want to just be uh, second to none. You want to always be on top. But like I said, that is a very good thing. But then if you're not in a balanced way of life, then it can be it can come off as ego it can come off as where confidence turn into cockiness so like i said just be very very mindful of that as a heart desire number one you had to overcome a lot of struggles during childhood or even just right now you feel like you're always singled out you feel like you've all um you are all pointed out 
Um, if like someone gets in trouble, if it's like a group of you, you may feel like you're the only one to get in trouble or even on the better end, if it's a group of you, you may get pointed out to be the leader or be the presenter of some type of project that you may have in school or in work. And that's because your heart, once you tune into your heart chakra and once you really exude what your innermost desire is, that's when you'll start being pointed out and singled out in all endeavors of your life. Heart desire number ones also are very, very independent and very responsible. So make sure that you are using that responsibility that you have into the best of your ability. And like I said, not as like a bossy energy because for heart desire number one, you can tend to be a little bit bossy. That sun energy, that Leo energy, it's naturally what's inside of you. So you would like to naturally outshine anybody else that's in any in um, any endeavor that you have so like i said just be really mindful of that um of your competitive nature your competitive spirit competition sometimes is always a good thing i'm personally a life path number one so i can kind of understand it like i love a little bit of competition but when the competition turns in the other person's favor and not yours like i said you can tend to like really be stuck in your feelings or feel like you are not the best and you are the best it's just that someone else has won over you so just be mindful of that that you don't have to always be the the winner in everything that you do um now for you as far as a lesson if you have a heart desire number one is you always have to make sure that you are being your true and authentic self and if you don't know who your true authentic self is you can just sit with yourself a little while go for a walk go meditate go be by yourself go have that introverted energy for a while so you can really discover how you feel from the heart from the soul so that no one won't really um get you steer you into the wrong direction like you are your own leader so for heart desire number one just make sure that you are not a follower that you are being a leader when it comes to heart desires number ones or ones in numerology period you're not supposed to follow what anybody else is doing you are meant to be a trendsetter you are meant to be that centerfold that example and like I said, use it in the most positive way. Use it as, okay, I am one of the idols. Because as a heart desire number one or just one in anywhere in your numerology chart, you are a leader. You, are, you lead the pack. You are the first number of the whole numerology system. So just be mindful of that ones that you use your leadership skills to the best of your ability. You use your leadership skills to put in confidence in other people as well. And just like I said, once you become balanced, once you become one with yourself, you'll be able to really be the boss in any endeavor that you choose. All right, so thank you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. As well as if you want to see more videos in the future, just hit that subscribe notification bell. The next video that I will be doing will be based on your personality number. So again, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and so you won't miss out on any videos that I post in the near future. I love you all so much. Thank you guys for tuning in again and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.